Hey guys, so today I'm here with the Barricade Trail Force HD full width front bumper fitting all 2007 to 2018 JK Wranglers. So if you're in the market for a heavy duty front bumper that's going to provide a lot of functionality, utility, as well as a ton of styling, then this option by Barricade is going to be a really good one to take a look at. So this is going to be perfect for somebody who's looking for that full front end protection but wants to keep performance in mind. So this is going to provide a lot of coverage to the front end of your Wrangler with this bull bar up top as well as a little bit of underbody protection, but the sides are going to be angled up to make sure that your approach angles on the trail are uncompromised, keeping that performance in mind like I said before. So this is not only good for that, but this is also good for somebody who's looking to build off of a front bumper and wants a little bit of utility. So this is going to have a recessed winch plate as well as light mounting options up on top of the bull bar here. And this is also going to have recovery points on the front if you get into a sticky situation on the trail and you need a little bit of extra insurance. Not to mention this is going to add some aggressive and off-road styling to the front end of your Wrangler and I personally like the fact that this comes up and meets the fenders. It looks very clean and it's going to work perfectly with any other heavy duty accessories. So this is going to be roughly $600 putting this at a pretty affordable price point for a full width front bumper. Now when you're taking a look at front bumpers all across the board you'll usually see that the more cost effective choices are going to be for stubby and mid width front bumpers just because they're a lot smaller than this one is. Now this is going to provide a lot more protection than the stubby and mid width front bumper. However, this is going to be a little bit more simplistic when we're taking a look at all of the full width front bumpers. So the simplicity in the design is really going to keep the cost down in comparison to some other choices that are a little bit more expensive that will have some extra bells and whistles. So the more expensive options, you're usually going to see more light mounting options, maybe a more in-depth design, or even come with a skid plate or auxiliary lighting. So in my opinion, I think if you're looking for that full front end protection, a lot of utility as well as a lot of style, then this option by Barricade is going to be a really good one to take a look at. So install is going to be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. You're going to need some basic hand tools to get the job done. So speaking of that install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for this install were an impact wrench, an 18 millimeter deep socket, a three inch extension, a Phillips head socket, seven millimeter wrench, and a three eighths inch drive ratchet. So if you have an upper and lower splash guard on your front bumper, it's going to be held on by a couple clips, so you can go ahead and remove that first with a trim removal tool. We don't have those on our Wrangler, so our first step is going to be to unplug our fog lights. So all you have to do is depress the clip and then just pull back and you'll remove the fog light harness. And you can do the same thing on the other side. Right? We can put that right in our crash bar and then we can go ahead and head underneath our Jeep so we can take off our hardware. So on each side of both of the frame horns, you're gonna have studs in your bumper that are holding it to the frame and we're gonna remove that hardware with an 18 millimeter socket. The outside, you can fit an impact wrench, but the inside, you're gonna have to use a traditional hand ratchet. So on the inside of the frame, you're gonna have the same thing. It may be a little bit difficult to see, but we're gonna use that same 18 millimeter socket as well as a hand ratchet to remove those two nuts. So now we can go ahead and take off our front bumper. So before we go ahead and install our new barricade front bumper, I did want to tell you guys a little bit more about it and what benefits that you're going to see with this new setup in comparison to your factory front bumper. Now this is going to be roughly the same length as your factory front bumper. However, it is going to be a little bit bigger, providing you more coverage and more protection to the front end of your JK. So this is going to give you a little bit of underbody protection as well as grill protection with the bull bar in comparison to the factory front bumper. Now this is going to be a lot more heavy duty than your factory 
front bumper. Your factory front bumper is made of a plastic material and also has a standard steel crash bar on the back. But this new one by Barricade is gonna be made of a heavy duty steel tubing as well as steel plate construction. So it will be able to take some abuse off road. Now it's also gonna have a textured black powder coat finish on top, which is gonna protect that steel underneath from any rust or corrosion. And it's also gonna provide a very heavy duty and off road and aggressive look to the front end of your JK. Now you're also gonna have a number of other benefits that are integrated into the design, which are going to be an upgrade from your factory front bumper or your factory setup. So the ends on the end of your new barricade front bumper are gonna be angled up, which is going to allow for better approach angles while you're out on the trail in comparison to your straight standard width factory front bumper. Now this is also gonna come with two light mounting tabs up on top of the bull bar, which are going to provide some light mounting points for aftermarket accessories and aftermarket auxiliary auxiliary lighting. You're also going to get a winch plate that is recessed, so this is capable of holding a winch with up to a 12,000 pound pulling capacity, and it is going to sit a little bit lower than some of those other top mounted options that you may be seeing on the site, so that's going to provide a little bit more protection to the actual winch. Now you're getting two welded D-ring mounts on the front as well, which are going to provide a safer as well as more efficient recovery point than your factory tow hooks, and this also does come with two D-ring included in the kit. Now the other thing that I really do like about this front bumper is that it is going to accommodate for your factory fog lights or any aftermarket fog light that is the same size and has the same mounting points as the factory fog lights. So I do like that you're keeping your factory lighting on this bumper and are able to build off of it. So enough from me, let's go ahead and bolt up our new barricade front bumper. So before we can mount up our new front bumper, we have to remove our fog lights from our factory front bumper and swap them over. I'm gonna use a Phillips head socket in order to remove them. However, if you have factory hardware, you should be able to use an eight millimeter socket. So on our new bumper, we're gonna have the same mounting locations. However, with this, we're gonna have a bolt and nut that's provided. So we're gonna drop that down on in. Then we can take our provided bolt and our provided flange nut and secure that down. Now we're gonna use the same Phillips head. Just tighten that up. Then we can do the same thing for the other mounting hole. So these don't have to be super tight, but if you do want to snug them up on the back, you can use a seven millimeter wrench, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver. But because this is plastic, you don't want to break it because you can break it if you over tighten it. So we can just repeat that process on the other side. All right, so now we're ready to mount up our new front bumper. So now we can mount up our new front bumper. This does have studs on it, so this will be able to stay in place on our frame while we get everything attached. So with this bumper, in comparison to your factory front bumper, this is gonna have six studs instead of eight studs, and we're gonna have a bolt to secure down on the inside of the frame horn and a welded nut on our front bumper. So I'd recommend to install that first, just to make sure that that's lining up. And while we're on this side, we can also install our flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the stud down below. 
Now before we tighten this down, I do want to make sure that the other side is lining up good so that we can come back and tighten everything down. So we're going to do the same thing on the outside. Secure the two flat washers, two lock washers, and then both of the nuts. So after all of your hardware is attached, what we're going to do is tighten down all of our hardware using an 18 millimeter deep socket. And I'm also going to use an extension just to clear our front bumper here. So for the bottom inside stud, you might not have to use that extension just because it's probably not going to fit. But you're going to have a lot more room on the inside anyway because of the winch cutout. So with this front bumper, since the fog lights are relocated on the ends of the bumper, you will have to extend your wiring harness. We have already. So we're just gonna plug ours in. However, if you need to extend them, you just add two leads onto the original harness or buy an adapter harness. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe, and for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.